everybody, welcome to another quick wing tips. Today we're gonna check out how to put your console in basically test mode. So interface mode, AKA Vegas mode and screen test. If you just bought a new console, uh, the first thing that I would recommend you to do before playing around with it is to do a screen test. Some uh, wing have problem with the touch screen. They register touch for no reason. That can affect your experience using the console. If stuff just start to being press on the screen, you don't want that. To boot the console into screen test mode, hold the meter and home button and then turn on the console. Hold them, hold them, console's gonna boot, and you're gonna get to that screen. You wanna let it sit like that for a couple hours. You want to have zero touch event. This is the goal. Uh, if you touch the screen yourself, let's say here, I have one touch event. I can have multiple if I want to, but the console should not have any touch event if you're not touching it. If you end up with any touch event, on a test where you are, leave it alone, get in touch with the person who sold you the console and have it serviced under the three year warranty from Berger. If you want to get out of the touch test, just turn off the console and boot it back up again. Now, if you want to boot into the interface test mode, AKA Vegas mode, uh, some Avid console, uh, we're calling it that Vegas mode where basically every light on a console just go on. You need to press down on the unnamed button on the right of the screen, turn on the console again and just hold it, hold it, hold it. After five seconds, you are in test mode. There is absolutely no light on the console itself. You need to press some knobs to have things happening on the console. So if I press down uh, here, view, moving the fader, I need to select these, press all the knobs. And there you go, you have it. Just basically press everything. You have a fader test mode when you press the mute button. You can see how they are calibrated. And touching the fader will light up the lights. So here we go, every color of the select button. Just press everything. Every knob should display at least two color, white and red for the mute select in white and green solo in white and yellow side knobs should be white and orange view should be white and green to, to check out the custom control section you need to turn uh, the knobs on top and you need to press again everything and everything should light up and change color Every of the console display is not wide. They have a kind of uh, rectangle uh, thing going. So make sure that you have that. And for the channel section, make sure that every light just turn on, just turn everything basically. So the touch feature is working. Every knobs. You get the idea. Thank you very much for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about the wing, about live sound. Uh, maybe I will give you some sound tips that I've learned over the year. Like the video if you liked it. And until the next video, please take care of yourself. See you guys later.